there is more to us than just flesh on bone. You start questioning spirituality and the afterlife. I suppose that always sort of conjured up really powerful feelings for me. You kind of feel the energy around you and I kind of, I don't know what that is, I don't have the answer. Art gave me a great place to put some negative energy to try and understand myself better, which then became positive. I go through stages of painting manically and you know nothing else seems to matter apart from paint on canvas. It's ridiculous hours, some four in the morning watching the sunrise and you're still out there because you're so in the moment, especially towards the end of the painting. You sense the end is coming, so you kind of you're almost racing towards it and then just really sort of just allow myself to try and connect with the canvas as such and then just let it let it go. Over the years, that's what I've learned, actually, how to really feel when the journey's done and actually be able to move away from a piece and start something fresh. I like to try and challenge my emotions and try and how I would feel and actually get that into a visual piece. It's quite challenging to present your emotions on a flat canvas and it's trying to actually put the energy that, of what those feelings conjure up. I'm also thinking about what it means to people. People in tears are looking at the work. How can you not want to get back out there? And you kind of actually, in some respects, feel like you've helped people, not just given them something great to put on their wall. You can spend a lot of hours in the studio, that's a lot of attention to your emotions and actually when you walk out you kind of feel like you're, you're at peace, you're kind of done. You can just sort of sit back and you really do get to explore and really do get to sort of channel that and it, even negative energy can produce something quite, quite positive. It can be isolating and I think that's where the exhibitions are great, so you get to actually touch base then with people and really sort of kind of, it, you know, it reminds you of why you do it when you hear how people have a journey with the work. I couldn't imagine being in a job where the job is the same, although how I apply paint may be relatively similar. The journey feels different every time. I see no reason to stop, ever. I've done it as long as I could hold a pencil. and I will hopefully continue.